So the term divine therapy is a deliberate effort to introduce into the spiritual journey in the Christian sense at least the discoveries of contemporary psychology about the unconscious and how that works and how it's treated. Because this is a piece of information that is invaluable for the spiritual life. So the divine therapy sets to work in healing the, the, the deepest wounds of human nature all the way back from the from uh, the time we were in the womb let's take a look at not so much an individual period of centering prayer but think of this rather as a period of, of some months or even years of of a process and and uh, it might look something like this we start our prayer at this point so we start here with our introducing the, the word. Well, if, if this is working a little bit, the second moment, you might say, would be uh, some feeling of interior rest. And even though thoughts are going by, they're not going by with the same intensity or preoccupation or concentration as they do in everyday life. The rest itself loosens up the hard pan around the weeds in the unconscious consisting of traumatic experiences from early childhood that we have repressed. Some of them are liable to slip into our awareness. And, and so, as we continue on this cycle, we come to the third moment, which we call unloading. It's, it's emotions that have never been processed, that are sitting there on our psychological tummy, so to speak, like a meal we haven't digested. <laughs> and so, without our being aware of it, uh, we're very uncomfortable. And hence, to get rid of it would be a, a very great uh, blessing and a, a assistance to our health. And so, as this process continues, you come to this third or fourth moment, which is evacuation. Thoughts or feelings or state of of, of utter distress. Mm. So the more rest, the more evacuation, would you say that? Exactly. That's the point I wanted to make, that the more enjoyable the prayer, the more likely it is that the next one is going to be a toughie. <laughs> because, not because God has changed, but because the process is so successful that the body now feels it can get rid of this. These are, are pockets of emotional stress repressed into the unconscious at an early life, which are, which are uh, strewn through our uh, psyche. And so when we evacuate something, or let's suppose it was this one here. Yeah. Now that glob of en a negative energy is gone. And the Holy Spirit rushes in to fill this place with positive energy. So as soon as some piece of junk has been evacuated, this space opens up, Holy Spirit runs in, so that when we start the prayer again, you're at a new place that is closer to the center than when you started the, the process. And so you now recycle again, second movement, third movement, some unloading, evacuation, more space, that one <laughs> evacuated. So now you start the next prayer closer uh, to the center. And so, so now as we recycle, we're getting closer and closer to the center, to the ground of our being and to the inmost center. And so till finally, 
everything is emptied out that was junk. And so there's no obstacle now in our awareness to the direct intuition of, of the own, our own ground of being, the image of God in us. So naturally, we're still going to feel annoyed, we're still going to feel angry, we're still going to feel defensive. But through contemplative prayer, those spontaneous movements are, are relaxed and they lose their dominating power. And one feels the human hurt or offense without it affecting the, uh, the depth of our commitment to the transformative process and to our accountability for everyone, who, uh, which is what Christ did. Thunder, thunder.